thrown into this world of chaos, destruction, and hate. He came to us from the spiritual heavens, but appeared in flesh and blood, man's frail and fallible form. Can you imagine such condescension? And yet, through it all, though he endured our trials, our temptations, and our tribulations, he remained untainted by evil's grasp, without a hint of vile corruption. When he entered this world, hope entered the world, for here is a man weak and vulnerable, yet without sin. Can you imagine? He did not even know sin. Just like a young, innocent child, thoughts of sex, drugs, war, violence. These are not even conceivable to a child. They're just beyond the breadth of knowledge and experience. Jesus lived a life of love, righteousness, purity. He served God only, and the Father was with him. Even as a little boy, his life was filled with the presence of God. He would spend time in the temple courts reading scriptures and talking with the elders on spiritual matters. Everyone who heard him was baffled at his wisdom and authority because he spoke the words of God. The Father was with him. As he grew older, he began to teach and to heal and to instruct. Through the power of God, the lame were made to walk, the blind received their sight, and the deaf began to hear. Everywhere, people were amazed at his knowledge and power. For the Father was with them. Never were his thoughts tainted by evil desires, nor did his heart ever dwell in wickedness. There was never a man like him, nor will there ever be. He was the single, unblemished, most pure human being ever to walk the earth.
absent of God. He became darkness without light. He became silence without sound. Thank you. 